Hey, what's up guys? It's Visayo here and this is the Geony S11 Lite. It's the quote-unquote light version of the Geony S11 and in this video, I'm going to be sharing top 5 features on this device. First off, the Geony S11 which was released in December last year had a whole range of features and one that stood out to me was the camera. The S11 comes with 4 cameras and specifically the back camera had 3D photography mode. It's something I would love to see in person but unfortunately it's not on the S11 Lite which we have here. Apart from that and as far as the build quality, it's got almost exactly the same body with the S11 Lite with the exception of the display which has a nicer looking screen to body ratio on the S11. In the box of the S11 Lite, we have a user guide, product warranty card, a silicone case, a 5 volt wall adapter, charging cables, headphone jack and a SIM ejector tool. So that's it for what's in the box and without further ado, let's get to the features. The first thing we'll talk about is the build quality. The S11 Lite and the S11 have very identical backs as I said earlier. It has this all-round reflective chrome look to it and it's really stunning. The downsides are that it's definitely a fingerprint magnet and thankfully you have a case to hide all this beauty. Around the body of the phone, you have these very identical clickable buttons on the side, the volume rockers and the power button which I think could have been more spaced, you also have a hybrid dual sim slot. There's nothing on the top of the S11 Lite and on the bottom is where we have the headphone and the microphone port side by side, the USB 2 port and the speaker grills. Using the S11 Lite feels very premium in the hand if you are not using the case, it's grippable and it definitely wins in that department. The S11 Lite comes with an 18x9, 5.7 inch, 2.5D display and if you've been following with the trend of many flagships on even budget smartphones I've talked about on the channel, the S11 Lite works in that same path. It's a 1440x720p display, viewing angles are okay and like I always say it's pretty similar to many budget smartphones on the channel. I like the fact that it allows you to crop in or pinch zoom in a video if you will so it takes full advantage of that 18x9 display and games optimized for this display would definitely look good as well. One of the many highlights of the S11 Lite is actually in the specs. It comes with a 4GB RAM with 3.5GB usable which is still a good deal. It also has an internal storage of 32GB which I think should be the standard by now. It comes bundled with a 1.5GHz octa-core Snapdragon processor. The game ran smoothly without any lag, however at a PPI of 286, mm, you might want to find a much better gaming device, perhaps the S11 itself which has a much more significant PPI at 403. The S11 Lite has a fair amount of camera toggles, however as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I would have loved to see or get my hands on the S11 itself for a 3D photo test. From what I've seen, it looks more like an interactive video recording that gets mapped out then compressed into one picture, which seems kind of novel. Photos I took on the S11 Lite were just okay, it's a 13 plus 2 megapixel camera on the back, dual cameras and it takes sharp pictures. It also comes with a 16 megapixel front camera which is also decent, things like the bokeh on this device of the front camera isn't as great. But the group selfie mode works pretty well but may require a bit of a learning curve. The S11 comes with Android 7.1 Nougat which seems pretty dated. However, Journey always tries to make the most of their skin on the OS with multiple features that will help you use it better with features like you know, reachability and adjustable notification center. All in all, it comes down to an interesting package. As far as the cons of the S11 like, the first thing is the battery. Gioni is almost always renowned for their phone's battery life, however I feel it could have been better than a 2970mAh. In my tests, standby time definitely took a hit. It lasted for about 18 hours and for a second con, it's just the visuals. Gioni packs quite a lot as far as functionality goes on your skin, however Gioni could certainly take inspiration on design cues. Anyway, that's pretty much it. These are my top 5 features on the S11 Lite. Do let me know what you think about this device in the comment section down below. Also, do let me know what you would love to know about this device. Please hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you'll be the first to see any new video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.